people who work here at the Student Center. I see the Student Center people staring us down. They, they, were, don't really, they, were, happy. they were really rooting for, for Mango. Yeah. They're like, Mango, pull this out. We even had the venue cool. rooting for Mango over here, yeah, guys. Yeah. Now it's anyone's game. <laughs> the crowd game. may be gone, but yeah, the but officials <laughs> are rooting for whoever's going to win faster. <laughs> Here we are back at Yoshi's. What is this, like the fourth time we've seen this level? I think more. I think maybe fifth more. minimum, yeah. And there we are. Mango. Wow, looking good. Mango's tight, 23%. Playing in the tight spot. Yeah, very good. Yeah, how many times have we seen top players get to the top two and then just split? Eh, just split it. Where now, despite the fact that adverse conditions, we're still playing it out. Yeah, I, so, I, yep, I love play it. it out. I love it. Play it out. So, okay, just very quickly, for anyone who's watching the two sets on YouTube separately, or these upload, uploaded together? I think they get uploaded together. Never mind, I was just going to recap how we're playing an empty venue, and I think that's a nice dramatic scene for it, us. It is all. wonderful. I, well, we had 6,000 viewers. We now have 8,000, so let's update them. We were playing in an empty venue. All spectators were asked to leave. They're closing up. They're turning off the lights on us, but we're still here smashing. And I think it's a great exhibition of the competitive spirit that, that's flourishing right now. Exactly. It's nice to see, as opposed to splitting and just taking things casually. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're seeing top-level play from two of our top players, you know, willing to play it out no matter what. And so much has changed. So much has changed. It's not just about the players anymore. We have all these fans at home that want to see this match. They want to know mm -hmm. who's and leading sponsors. the nation right now. Sure. And sponsors. Mm -hmm. Both current and potential. Some, you know, watching. Check out who they want to get next. We've had four Smashers picked up in the last month or That's so. That's so exciting. And they're not going to be the last as we head into Anaheim and Evo season. Ooh, Mitsu King poking his little head up there. I'm surprised he didn't get down smashed. All right, and the Mango Spike's taking take the lead on Mango obviously a, to one stock. a stage that he feels most comfortable. Okay. No, why, why is Jason agreeing to this? I'm sorry, Mewtwo King, uh, agreeing to this stage. Well, I think they both like it. You know, I think it's a comfort level for both of them. Yeah. And if you're confident enough in your skill, then you just want to be a place where you're comfortable. That's true. Very true. Yeah. And right now, one and, stock each. And 2K is showing. Just, just one inches ahead of the other yep. and stays super tight. How comfortable it can be. Just makes those exciting matches. Bear's going to do it. Down air, down smash. Pulling out all the stops, all the moves, everything in the rulebook. Mango not able to get that, that, that ledge guard there. Forward smash, Mewtwo King's able to get out of it, get to the right side of the stage. Back air is going to send him off, but not going to kill him at 128%. And Mewtwo King is just loving this. He's Up just going to do it. He's smiling in the middle of the match. <laughs> it's I heard it's his favorite game. Uh, melee, yeah, I think Melee is definitely Mewtwo King's favorite game. Person has a lot of games. This is the best. Uh, I don't. This wasn't much of a surprise counterpick here. No, not a surprise counterpick. But we see uh, Mango not counterpicking. Cat characters, you know. Oh but no, he's to, he's staying. This is nice, nah, fine. I, I'm curious if we're going to see a Sheik from uh, from Mewtwo King. I'm curious, if Mewtwo King's chain grabs are going to get longer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I would like to see the Sheik again. I, I personally like to see that. You know, I'm gonna get that down arrow, but it's good for a little percent, but there's no way he was gonna convert off of it. It puts M2K so in a very, very, very dangerous position, though. That's true. You, you might not get the spike right there, but you are setting up for dangerous territory. That's true. Or the short hop F air. We're saying a, a, you know, a little mistake, you know, something to factor in to this competitive fight. The player's inching forward you know, piece by piece. If things aren't ex executed properly, then how does that change the landscape? Of these two players Absolutely. trying to figure each other out. Absolutely. And we are seeing so many returns by Mango up against M2K. It's true. You, you don't see spaces return the way they're returning mm -hmm. versus M2K. These matches are way closer than they were at round seven. Absolutely. When Mango won. Definitively. But he's just back and forth, back and forth. That's great. We saw. Well, we saw five matches so far on both sets. Yeah. That's exciting. I wonder if we'll see fifth on the last. I hope so. Okay, over 100%. Character's gonna get up a lot slower and has a lot more frames to stay on the fledge and uh, keep the mark in that case. And, from and, and being playing, able to playing at this level, the players know exactly what percent Absolutely. they are. They, they know how long it takes to get them up and they use that to their advantage. Okay. Excellent. And look at the position it puts him out of jump. It was a weak. A quick kill. Oh. Three stock to two. Weak down air. Wasn't going to get the spike, but it put him in such a bad position that it was worth going for. For sure. Okay. 
doing some of those uh, the, with the sword dance. I'm gonna attack on a little bit of percent, but it's nothing compared to the you know 50, 60. I was hoping to see from a solid you know grab with the grabs up till more grabs. And that's the pivot grab that he's going with. If you don't pivot grab, Falco can jump out. It's like Falco's jumping out anyway. Yeah. Falco's jumping out no matter what. It is Falco. Three stack to one. On M2K's counter pick. That's right. That's right. There's, there's nowhere to go from here. This is it. Well, I can only imagine if he doesn't pull this I match out, he's, he's just going to go back. Yeah. But it's that feeling of, you know, you don't have anything in your pocket. We got other characters, maybe. We could perhaps see him you know, try the cheek again. It would be interesting. Huh. I like seeing that the power shielded lasers. Let's take a talk about that's, 20 that's XX. 20XX right yep. there. For Fox, forget it. And you know, the other characters can do with 20XX. They're not the only ones that, that benefit from, uh, from a little bit of advanced technology. There you go. Forward smash, a great choice there, rather than any kind of aerial. This is going to miss with the lasers, but... He had that jump, but just but didn't just go for that big. Come back. All right, that's going to put Mango up two games. This could be it right here. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're going to see in the final stretch. You know, Mango is able to really launch ahead. Ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. That's the question. Mango's ready. Boom. Mango is ready. Okay. This is what we talked about earlier. Does, does M2K have the stamina to keep going with all this percent all night long? It's true. Obviously. Well, I imagine he's used to some late nights. <laughs> well, that'll be a good thing. That's true. That's true. Mango's showing that he can hang in there. 2 nothing lead right now. Mango unable to convert when he is off the ledge. Saying pretty uncommonly this set. But at 110%, you wanted to tell that that was great. With the drop back, strong back air is going to kill him at 57%. It's looking pretty good. Has a solid lead. I, w I would call this a solid lead, depending on if he can just get his feet back on the stage, which he's able to. Now he's back in control. Let's see him uh, pepper him with those lasers. Now, Mango running away to get a uh, better position occasionally to get out of the grab range, but we're not seeing anything even remotely considered camping. No, no, not, not at even all. resembles camping. Not at all. And with the short and, and I like it going to get him out. I love it. He uses those lasers to approach, not to play defensive. He uses them as an offensive move. That's true. Uh, three stocks each. We're going to see players in the middle of the stage. They do this thing where they just kind of stop hitting each other for a little bit. You see that where they just kind of dance around each other? I think they're waiting for their opportunity. Mm -hmm. why, why swing when it may not be the best option at the point? Yeah, every time you swing, you leave yourself open. So Exactly. You know, let, let's, let's choose wisely. With the shine grab from uh, Mango there, it's, it's great. It's a different kind of pressure. That's some of the new stuff we're seeing that's, that, that's super effective. Effective. Ooh, I feel like I'm seeing it. Oh, I'm seeing it disappear. Are you, are you seeing this disappear right now? This this set. Meaning, I think I think Mita King is. I think his goose is cooked. Is what I'm trying to say. He's got. He, he at least he has to win three more matches. Yeah. I mean, winning three matches against Mango. No, I don't care who you are. Without losing a match, sure, it is difficult. I think once wins two, the third won't be as hard. But at this point, being down this match, when Mango is clearly dominating the stage control, right? I mean, look at the level of comfort. Yeah. We, we see it here. And a couple of Mita King stock. If, if M2K they lost foolishly, so can pull this out, he's gonna have to get through Mango's counter picks. It's true, no more FD. Yeah, FD won't be an option. Good choice for Mita King, reading that the Falco was not able to get back and just up being and hogging. Taking the hog. All right, two stock to one. We've definitely seen Mita King come back from worse. It's time for a grab, Mita King. Let's He's got it. Let's see what, you Let's can, see what do. can do off it. Show us. Off the ledge. Ooh, that oh, that neutral with the ground tech. Two years ago, that would have been a real problem for the Falco. Now, 20XX, not so much. Ground I'll tech. just grab the ground. No big deal. And I don't think Mango saw that F smash come. That I didn't see that F smash come. Tipper. I thought he was going to keep going with maybe an up air, but he took out that F smash, and we're both in the last stop. Great, and it was even until a little bit of sick combo action right there, and now it's 76% to 2%. And again, Ooh. we see the down air forward smash. Misses with the lasers. And holding Gonna on. Gonna get a chance with the short and hop. That That's is excellent. Tournament, That's guys. gonna do it. Congratulations to Mango, winner of this most excellent tournament. We really Fantastic appreciate you guys tuning tournament. in. Thanks to VG Bootcamp. Thanks to the TOs for doing a great job. Bears fan and everyone who helped them. Oh my gosh. Hey, Bears fan, he worked so hard at this tournament. We so could tell by the night how much effort he's put in. He looked run down. He did such a great job. But it was worth this. it. It, it was totally worth it. We I mean, did it. Look at all the people that he served. 8,000 8, viewing. 
We got, got up, up to 9,000. 9, that's fantastic. And that's with other uh, Smash tournaments happening, other fighting game tournaments happening. Yeah. Right? We yeah. were competing with other people. Absolutely. All right. We, we got to go, We got to get out of here. Good night. It's been great. We'll Thank you, you so soon. much. Yeah, we got to run. Woo! -hoo!